Hi boys and girls, welcome to English Fun. We've really enjoyed having videos with you and this is our last video. It's day 30 and we are so glad we could spend the time with you. Grown-ups, thanks for joining us again today and for our last video. We hope that you have a lot of activities that you will enjoy with your child, whether it's in Cantonese or in English, things that you can do together, music and movement and sensory activities, motor activities, reading, all of those things. I hope that you can enjoy them together in your home. All right, let's sing hello. Sing hello, Miss Susie. Sing hello, Miss Susie. Sing hello, Elise. Sing hello, Elise. Sing hello to E. -E. Sing hello to E. -E. Sing hello to Bung Bung. Sing hello to Bung Bung. And to our cousin, Amen. Sing hello to Amen. Sing hello to Amen. And our other cousins. We're going to sing hello to Calvin and Andrew. Sing hello to Calvin. Sing hello to Calvin. Sing hello to Andrew. Sing hello to Andrew and to you, friend. Sing hello to mm -hmm. Sing hello to mm -hmm. and your grown up. Sing hello to mm -hmm. Sing hello to mm -hmm. Hello, hello. We are going to finish hello. up with our last long vowel today. You know what it is? We did A, E, I, O. Today is U. Long U. Like unicorn. Unicorn. Hmm. So fun. This is letter U, U, U. Big U, little U, 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 U. The letter, the, the, the letter? Hmm. The long letter U says U, U, U. This is U. Mm-hmm, it's a long sound U. It's a long sound U. I mixed that up. Let's do it again. This is letter U, U, U. Big U, little U, 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 U. The long sound U says U, U, U. This is U, and U says U. Mm-hmm, last time. <laughs> this is letter U, U, U. Big U, little U, 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 U. The long sound U says U, U, U. This is U and U says U. That is funny. U, 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 U. And here we go. We've got some words that have our long U sound. U, U, unicorn. U, U, unicorn. U, 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 uniform. Oh, look at this. Here's Elise's school uniform. Yeah. U, U, uniform. U, U, uniform. U, U, use. U, U, use. U, U, cue. U, U, cube. U, U, cube. U, U, cube. U, U, cute. U, U, cute. All right, those are some U sounds. Those are some U, U, U sounds. And we get the long U when there are two vowels. When there's two vowels, the first one says its name, and the second one says nothing. The second one is silent. So we can have some words that have some long U's. Look at this. Huh. Um. Hug. Huh. Uh. Huh. 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 Hug. Yes. Now what if we put an e? Now it has two vowels. Here's a vowel, and here's a vowel. It has two vowels. This one says nothing. This one says the long sound. Ready? So it will say you. Huh. huh. You huge. Hu, hu, huge. Yes, yes, huge. Oh, where did my wife go for this? Here it is. Hu, hu, huge. 
Let's try another one. Let's do this one. Now let's put an Shopping. E at the end. The E will say nothing. This one will say it's long sound. It will say you. Q, 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 cute. Q, Q, cute. Yes, so it have, only has one vowel. It says it's short sound. Uh, ka, ka, cut. If it has a long vowel, it's because there's Two vowels, so it'll say it's long sound. Q, Q, cute. Yes, that's how this, the long sounds work. Let's read some of these long sounds with the short sounds. Yes, you can get some water. So we've got our long sounds, and then we've got our short sounds. Our short says, uh, like umbrella. This is long U. And long U will help us with the long sounds. All right, here we go. Uh, uh, us. Uh, uh, us. You, you, use. You, you, use. Uh, uh, cub. Uh, uh, cub. You, you, cube. You, you, cube. Uh, uh, cut. Uh, uh, cut. You, you, cute. You, you, cute. You, cute. <laughs> That's fun. All right, here we go. Ha, ha, hug. Ha, uh, ha, uh, hug. You, you, huge. You, you, huge. That's the difference between those sounds. Now let's try some blends with our long U. So we'll put the long U after the other letter, after the consonant. All right, here we go. Let's do it together. We'll put this one here. That will work better. Here we go. Are you ready? Move bung bung. All right. Ba, ah, uh, uh, I'm uh. sorry. You, we're using you. Ba, you, bu. Ba, you, bu. Ka, you, cue. Ka, you, cue. Da, you, do. Da, you, do. You, few. You, few. Let me put something under this so they don't all fall. All right, now I'm ready. Ga, you, you. Ga, you, you. You, you. Ha, you, you. Ja, you, jew. Ja, you, jew. Ka, you, q. Ka, you, q. We'd use a C for that. Ul, you, lu. Ul, you, lu. It is, thank you. Mm, you, mew. Mm, you, mew. Mm, you, new. Mm, you, new. Pa, you, pew. Pa, you, pew. And this one, ka, qua, qua, doesn't really work with you. Here we go. Er, you, ru. Er, you, ru. Because the Q already has the U and it's not the long U. Q, U. Oh, it is the long U. Let's do that one. Hmm. Here we go back to that one. Ka, you, Q. K U Q, and that's how we make our sound for Q is with the U with it. S U S U S U S U T U T U T U T U V U V U V U V U V U V U V U V U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U that one's not really a word either. And y, u, u, y, u, u, z, u, zoo, z, u, zoo. Yeah, 
and a lot of these words, the long U sound, we find it by making O, 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 O makes the long O sound. But special sounds are something you can work on learning next after you after you've learned all of your all of your uh, letter sounds, all of your long vowel sounds, all your short long short vowel sounds. Then you can learn the special sounds. And English has many many special sounds. Some people say 132. It has a lot of special sounds. So you can learn the special sounds too. Okay, so you can learn the special sounds too when you want to learn how to read English. And you're doing a great job with that. All right, let's have our Bible story today. It's our last one in this book, God's Great Plan Storybook Bible. I hope you can go find this book at a bookstore or maybe online or maybe at a Christian bookstore at a church. God's Great Plan Storybook Bible. It's a really but great we story. Find. We read all the, the stories about Jesus, but we had to skip some of the other ones. And maybe you can get the book and you can read the whole book. That would be really great. Today we finish reading and we read the last page and we get to hear what exciting thing happened after Jesus died on the cross. Something exciting happens today, remember? He doesn't stay dead. Jesus is God and he rises from the dead. All right, so we are on the last page, page 102. Story time, snuggle up. And here we go. But death could not win or keep Jesus bound. He rose the third day. And this they had found. He was alive, the grave empty inside. It happened just as he said before he had died. Wow, God is so powerful. Jesus met with his friends before he had left. Between God and mankind is no longer a cleft. I will always be with you to the ends of the earth. He gave us new life. It's like a new birth. Matthew 28. Jesus died on the cross for our sins and then we see that he rose again. This is salvation for every woman, every man. This was God's promise, his salvation plan. And we see that this was God's, this is God's great plan. He has a great plan that we can accept Jesus. We can ask him to forgive our sins and be our savior. And we can go to heaven and be with him when we die, when we accept him. This is God's great plan. And we're so glad we can share that good news with you. All right, we've got a couple of songs today. Elise, can you help me with this one? Can you help me with this one? We're gonna use this triangle, remember? The triangle for Down by the Station. Down by the Station is a fun song, all right. I should me drop it, you have to be really kind. Quite noisy if you drop it. All right, here we go. Down by the station early in the morning. See the little puffer bellies all in a row. See the engine driver pull the little handle. Chug, chug, toot, toot, off we go. Toot, 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 toot. Down by the station early in the morning. See the little puffer belly all in a row. See the engine driver pull the little handle. Chug, chug, toot, toot, off we go. Toot, 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 toot. Shh. Ah. All right, yes, we can put that one away. And then we've got all the pretty little horses. Let's do that one together. I'm a, I'm Elise, to are you going to help your baby and rock your baby? Maybe you have some scarves you want to use, or maybe you want to Daddy, rock your I baby. Hush up, I don't you cry. Go to sleepy little baby. When you wake, you shall have cake and all the pretty little horses. Flecks and bays, dapples and grays, coaches. 
Relax and bathe, dapples and grays, car chases white horses. I, I, I really know how to rock my baby. All right, and let's do this one again. At least you can rock your baby or do the scarves. Mm -hmm. This is my oboe. Do you remember? Oboe. Oboe, and I will play it for you for this song. Ready? one of Elise's favorite stories. Oh, we'll do that one later, okay? Thank you. That is one of Elise's favorite songs. We're going to say, tell you this story one last time. Do you remember seeing this picture? Is that donkey going to make a good choice and listen? Or will he make a bad choice and do what he wants to do, even though it's not very smart? It's not very safe. I didn't get to do this with you yet. That's yeah. why I wanted to tell it with you. Yeah, I did it with Ariana. Here we go. There was a donkey. You saw him. He was going down the road with a man down the mountain. And when he, he got this idea, because he looked and he could see that his house was right down the mountain. So he thought, I want to go straight down the mountain. I don't want to keep going around and around and around the mountain to get to the bottom. He just wanted to go straight down the mountain over the cliff. Is that a good idea? <laughs> no, not at all. So he started to pull the rope to go down the mountain, straight down the mountain. And the, the man was, was he grabbed his tail, grabbed the rope. He was pulling as hard as he could to keep the donkey from going over the side of the mountain. This was not a good idea. But the donkey kept pulling and pulling and pulling and finally the, the, the man had to say, okay, go ahead. And there he went, over the cliff. Not a good idea, that's not safe. And we learned the important story that it's really important to listen to instructions. People who love you and want you to be safe, want you to do the right thing and grow to be strong and smart and obedient and helpful and kind. We need to listen when grown-ups give us instructions. Yeah. Bless you. And try to help us to not do silly things that will hurt us. We need to listen. That's really important or we could wind up in a lot of trouble, like falling down a mountain. Yeah, that will hurt our head really much. That will hurt very, if someone, very much. If someone pushes us down the mountain. Yes, if someone pushes you. Well, he wasn't even being pushed. He was just choosing to go. Here's our letter U. This is letter U, U, U. Big U, little U, 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 U. Yeah. U. The long sound U says U, U, U. U, U. This, this is U and U says U. Mm -hmm. That is funny. That <laughs> is funny. And for the A, uh, we had umbrella. This is letter U, 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 U. Big U, little U, 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 U. The letter U says A, A, A. This is U and U says A. Uh. But the big long sound is this is letter U, U, U. Big U, little U, 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 U. The long sound U says U, U, U. This is U and U says U. Mm -hmm. All right, let's go ahead with these really quickly. I'll say it. You echo me. Unicorn, unicorn, uniform, uniform, use, use, Q, Q, cube, cube, cute. Cute. Yes, that's right. All right. So we actually
actually have all these sounds. Let's just review these sounds. These are the short sounds, and then we'll do the long sounds. A, A, apple. A, A, apple. E, E, elephant. E, E, elephant. I, E, igloo. I, E, igloo. A, A, octopus. A, A, octopus. A, A, umbrella. A, A, umbrella. So if there's only one vowel, then the vowel will say the short sound. If there's two vowels, listen to the long sounds. A, A, April. A, A, April. E, E, eagle. E, E, eagle. I, I, ice cream. I, I, ice cream. O, O, oatmeal. O, O, oatmeal. U, U, unicorn. U, U, unicorn. Oh, you're going to use these long vowels and short vowels. That will be great. All right. Okay, we've got a really special thing to finish our class today. We're going to finish and still do our conversations and our counting and our last song. And we want to have a tea party, a tea party to celebrate that we finishing, we're finishing the videos. Today is Elise's last video with you. Yesterday, Ariana had her tea party as she finished her last video. And today, Elise will also get a tea party. So let's go ahead and join her for her tea party and we'll have some conversations and some songs. Look at you, girl. I'm gonna get water. Oh yes, she can pour her Oops, put that one down on the table. She's gonna pour this. Tea parties are great because we can practice important things like pouring, and that's a good skill to be able to do. I'm gonna get a seat too. I don't have my seat yet. And baby's here. Actually, I guess I want you to see. Baby can join us. Sometimes we like to have our tea parties with our, with our baby or with our animals. It makes it fun. And tea parties are special things. There's ways we can tell our children you're special. Let's do something special. And it's just little things that we would eat anyway. Maybe some seeds, sunflower seeds, or some cookies, or some little candy, seaweed, or some pecans, some nuts, to eat one seed. some little bread, oh, some cookies, some raisins and M&Ms. So some fun things you can enjoy with your tea party. All right, we always bring this so we can have extra pouring practice. And if there's more people at the table, then we'd have more drink inside there. Maybe hot chocolate. Today we have apple juice. So different things like that. Tea parties are very fun. Tea time is always nice, but to do it, set it up a little bit special can be a lot of fun. All right, Elise, do you like your tea party? Do you love to do tea parties? Yes, it's one of your favorite things to do and sometimes she gets to do it with her grandma too and that is always, always fun. Tea parties are nice and so are regular meals. When we sit down and have a family dinner or family lunch or family breakfast, it can be a really special time too. And when we practice our, our English with these videos, we can actually practice English or even Cantonese, your native tongue. You can practice using good grammar. You could practice using yeah. polite words. You can practice conversations of listening to each other and looking at each other and can you please pass the bread, things like that. You can practice that when you're at a meal time together. You don't need to have your phone or uh, TV or iPad or something like that. It's great to just sit down and share the time together. Even grown-ups need to take a break from their work and from their things that they're doing and get to spend some time together as a family. So that can be really special. That can even help you for important things like interviews. You'll be ready for interviews if you're used to sitting at a table and talking and sharing about your day. So Elise, I could ask you about different things that happen in your day. Elise. Did you play with Ariana this morning? Did you guys play with some oobleck today? Yes. Did Ariana share the oobleck with you? 
Yes. And then we don't want to just ask questions that they can answer yes, no. We also ask questions that they can tell us more. Elise, how did that make you feel when Ariana shared with you? Happy. Yeah, happy. Or you could say, I felt happy. I felt happy. And we could practice all those things just like we did our our um, emojis before Mommy. and did all these feelings Mommy. before. Yes, you can have. Mm -hmm. Yes, you can have. Get one. Have. You can have the package. Yeah. And all these different emotions. And we could talk with them at the table about things that happened in your day, too. You could tell them about things that happened at work or projects you're working on for work or things like that. And you could tell them about how you felt about your day. One of Ariana and Elisa's favorite things to do at dinner is to ask us to tell stories about when we were little. And it's good for them to ask us because sometimes we forget to tell them those things. So we get to share stories about when we were little, right? And we could tell them stories and then tell them how we felt about it. It made me feel, I feel happy. I feel happy or I felt happy. I felt excited. I felt excited. I felt angry. I felt angry. I felt sad. I felt sad. And we can share these things with our with our children at the table. We can share these things with our grown-up at the table. Oh, that made me feel loved. I felt loved. I am loved. Ah. <laughs> I felt silly. When that happened, I felt silly. Maybe Elise will come home and she'll tell us some things about hap what happens at school and she will say, I felt silly or they were silly. Hmm. I feel tired. I feel tired. And this is a new one. I like this one. When we have an idea, I feel proud. I feel proud. Wow, you did a great job with, with telling that story at school for the class. How did you feel? I felt proud. I felt proud. When we did a great job, we can say, wow, I felt proud that I did it. I was brave. I did my best. I felt proud. So we can keep practicing talking about these things. And, and children, the friends, Elise, you can ask the grown-ups, how do you feel? How do you feel today? And our grown-up, the grown-ups can share about their day and how they feel too. So that's a great thing to do also. Elise, I told Elise that we have a very special book because we have a book from when I was a little girl. And you can use my rabbit. Oh, um, yeah. Now, we're not going to read the whole story right now. But this one is an easy story to find on the internet because it's a very old story and it's on the internet for free. So you could find these stories um, by Beatrix Potter and she has some really beautiful paintings that she did with these. Peter Rabbit, Beatrix Potter, Potter, Beatrix Potter. You can look for those kind of stories and this is one that I got when I was young. I got it from my grandparents. They love to give me books. And this was one that I really loved and I kept for a long time. And we read it at our house now too. And we can read a story maybe at mealtime too. If maybe there's a, not a lot of things to talk about, we could even just read a story. And Elise said we can borrow her little rabbit for this one. <laughs> Once upon a time, there were four little rabbits, and their names were Flopsy, Mopsy, and Cottontail, and Peter. They lived with their mother in a sandbank underneath the root of a very big fir tree. Now, my dears, said old Mrs. Rabbit one morning, you may go into the field or down the lane, but don't go into Mr. McGregor's garden. And you could see in this book, each little part of the story has a beautiful little picture with it. And like I said, you could find these stories online. So that would be fun. So sometimes we read stories at the table. Sometimes we'll read magazines. 
or different things like that, especially if it's just me with the girls. Maybe I'll read them a book, chocolate. read them a story. Yes, that's chocolate inside. The really wonderful thing about sharing tea time together or a tea party or a breakfast, lunch, or dinner together is that we can share a positive time with our family and our other friends that can join us and we can share a positive time. We can share kind words, we can share show patience and listening. And this these are really important. It's okay, we can clean up later. These are really important skills for our children to learn and we can show them around the table. And that's really, really important and a special part of our lives. Sometimes it's easier to just eat quickly and go, but if we can make time for these things, that will be really, really good. No arguments, and we don't even have to fuss about things, and it can be really great. We're so glad that you could join us. I hope that you can have a tea party this week. That would be fun, wouldn't it? Yeah, it can be just even a normal meal, but you just set it up a little special or get out a little special tea set or something like that. So that will be really great. This is my special tea set. This is Elise's special tea set from our Anna, friends in America. Mm -hmm. Anna has a special. Anna has a set from her grandma, so it's special. All right. Well, let's say goodbye to our friends. And today, we don't get to say see you tomorrow because this is our last video. You can write down some comments below if you would like to and like to send me a message and I can send you a message back so we can do that. Uh, and we've just really enjoyed having this time with you. Thanks for sharing your 30 days with us and we want to sing one last time with you and then we'll say our goodbyes today. Can we sing Mary Had a Little oh. Lamb? Oh, Elise did want to sing Mary Had a Little Lamb. That's why she brought the lamby ears. Mary had a little lamb, little lamb, little lamb. Mary had a little lamb, its fleece was white as snow. And everywhere that Mary went, Mary went, Mary went. Everywhere that Mary went, the lamb was sure to go. It followed her to school one day, school one day, school one day. It followed her to school one day, which was against the rules. It made the children laugh and play, laugh and play, laugh and play. It made the children laugh and play to see a lamb at school. Yes. All right, and let's sing This Is The Day. Elise, can you pause on the cookie and sing with me? This is the day, this is the day that the Lord has made, that the Lord has made. We will rejoice. We will rejoice and be glad in it, and be glad in it. For this is the day that the Lord has made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. This is the day, this is the day that the Lord has made. There we go. Thanks so much for joining us. Have a great day. Have a great week. And maybe we'll talk to you in the comments below. Bye-bye.